DIY bath. Um, Reg, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Prescott here. <laughs> so let's get off the back burner and get down to business. <laughs> um, well, I was going to get to eggs later, but let's get cracking. <laughs> oh, cracking. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight we're going to make a meal for the solitary bachelor or spinster or whatever your bag is. As my old chum Delia Smith says, one is fun, but her private life is her own affair. <laughs> so what better than a real old-fashioned fry-up? Eggs, sausages, I don't know about you, but I haven't had a banger since Bonfire <laughs> So, Sydney sausage, come on down. <laughs> Little devils, aren't they? <laughs> Back to the bangers. <laughs> well, there you are. <laughs> bangers and mash. <laughs> oh, silly me. Well, oh, here's a pack that's already been opened. <laughs> and you lot got to split you up now. Knife. And what a boon he is! Can cut through anything! <laughs> Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the kitchen. <laughs> Easy, Eric. Right, we've got some sausage division here. Right, four lovely porkers here. And with Eric's help, we're going to divide them up. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, five. <laughs> right, now into the pan with these sausages. <laughs> I say, viewers, what about a pancake with our fry up? Gets my vote. Right, first of all, the egg. And then we have. Flour. Don't forget the flour. <laughs> Here we are with the flour. And of course, Mickey Milk. Uh, hmm, never quite managed these things. It always goes everywhere. <laughs> right. Huh. Here we go with the jolly old blender. <laughs> Always remember to put the top on the blender before you switch it on. And here's another little tip. And handy later. Handy, get it? That's enough of satire. Onward, ever onward. Right, what are we going to have for afters, I hear you cry? Well, I feel like a little pear myself. Well, that's none of your business. <laughs> and now over here, we have my favourite cookbook. It's really, truly wondrous. I picked it up at my local garage. It's the Toyota Old English Cookbook. And it's a little belter. Squid Surprise. Sushi Quattro. Now, oh, that's for four. Oh, here it is. Our old chum, Plums or Vin. Scrummy, scrummy. Right, what you do is you peel the fruit. I did these before we started. Right, let's see what we do next here in my fabulous book. Right. Oh. Soak in red wine for two hours. Well, I suppose they know what they're talking about. <laughs> next week, a five-course dinner for one with Peter Pressure Cooker here. 